you're never going to enjoy the Christian life if you keep plugging into the wrong plant. This world's got nothing for you. You keep plugging into the things of the world, you'll never come down here and enjoy the Christian life. The branch cannot bear fruit in itself except it abide in the vine. No more can you except you abide in me. Fruit bearing is not something that you try to do. Fruit bearing is something that happens naturally when the branch is connected to the right vine under the right gardener under the right conditions. Then fruit bears naturally. This should be the litmus test of our Christian life. Brother Tony, I don't know if I'm doing what's right in my Christian life. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction. I don't know if I'm doing the right things. I don't know if my life is what God wants it to be. Here's how you'll be able to tell. Fruit. We had a place one time we lived, and they had a, a big old plum tree, and there's very little I like in this world, better than fresh plums, man. And I was like, I think that's a plum tree. But you know that the plum tree ultimately is going to bear plums. I never in the entire time that we lived there expected that plum tree to do anything but bear plums. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. So what you're going to find in your Christian life if you're connected correctly to the Lord and you're submitting correctly to His husbandry in your life, you're going to find, first of all, that you bear fruit for Him. That you're beginning to look like Him. That you're starting to, to bear the fruits of the Spirit and the things that, that look like Him. And then what He's going to do is He's going to do some work in your life, often painful, often pruning, and then you're going to bear more fruit. You're like, hey, you know what? I got better at that. I didn't do it too well. The first time, I did bear some fruit, but, but, but now I can do that better. And then before you know it, you're going to have much fruit. One of the problems that people have with church in general is that they go to church and church says, listen, um, God has a plan and, and God has a purpose and there's all these fruits of the Spirit that we can expect. And then you get to church, and you're disappointed because there's rotten fruit. I went to church expecting fruits of the Spirit, and I saw fruits of the flesh. You don't go to a spirit tree expecting flesh fruit. If you look in your life and you say, hey, I'm a Christian, and all you see is fruits of the flesh, then you've just identified a problem. God did not plant a spiritual plant in this life and expect anything but spiritual fruit. You can look at the fruit and tell what kind of plant you got. If you got plums this year, that's a plum tree every year. <laughs> do not be deceived. He that doeth righteousness is righteous. Have you ever heard this testimony? I used to go to church. I used to go to church, now I don't. I used to read my Bible, I used to pray, and now I don't. What's the problem? Every branch in me that bears not fruit, he takes away. Look at verse number 6. If a man abide not in me, is cast forth as a branch, and is withered, and men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. They are separate from the vine. You'll notice that God always defines authentic conversion as those who end up bearing fruit. Those branches that are in that vine that do not bear fruit, they are cast away and they are burned. And friend, that should concern us when we look at our lives. Now, you are not a pruner. You don't go out into the, to the husbandman's field and pull up tares. That's not your job. It's not my job. We're not fruit inspectors. Our job is to make sure we are correctly connected to the vine. But if you are not bearing fruit in your life, the fruits of the Spirit, you can't see God producing things and doing things in your life, then you need to hit the brakes and say, why is this a problem in my life? Because it is a problem. Whatever fruit your life is bearing is what kind of tree you have. Connect to Him through His Word. Through His Spirit, through His presence, do you know Him?